guys welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome back and if you're a new subscriber welcome so today I decided to film this look right here excuse me um it's like a pink and white smoky eye I guess I don't know uh, the it's like the eyes pretty simple but the bottom part of that feels what ties a lip together as well as the lip I just got this um white lipstick from MAC and I've been wanting a white lipstick for so long and I finally finally got it. It's called Frosting so I did like a black and white ombre lip that I've been wanting to do for so long so I'm so excited about this look. So if you guys want to see how I got this look then just keep watching. Also in this video you'll see me mention uh, Tokyo Lashes. This company just sent me some lashes and I'm wearing them right now and I love them so much. This is my first time. They are mink lashes. So they were so nice to offer me a coupon code so if you do decide that you like these eyelashes and you would like some for yourself here's just one you can head over to their website and at checkout if you use the code jamie which is j-a-m-i-e you will get 20 percent off of your entire purchase so yeah thank you guys so much um if you watch my videos i just appreciate you so much if you like them comment them like whatever you guys do like i you guys are so appreciated and i hope i can too i can just continue to get out quality videos to you guys let me know what you guys want to see next but you guys are so appreciated and i thank you so much and um let me know how you guys like this talk through if you guys want me to do it again or what it, like you know specifically what you guys want to see but yeah, I'm going to shut up now because you guys are going to continue to hear me talk. But um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and let me know what you guys want to see next. See you guys next time. So this is the mask that I'm using. It came in my Ipsy Glam bag for the month that I got so late. I'm not sure why I got it so late. And this is the Pomegranate Crush Illuminating Fiber Mask. Um, I have been breaking out really bad. I don't know why. Uh, this is what I do pretty much before I apply my makeup. So, yeah, let's take it off. And so, like I said, it says to just press the rest in my skin. I will use some of this olive oil eye cream. It's so dirty. Sorry, guys. My makeup stuff is so dirty by priming my eyes and as always I'm using my soft ochre paint pot from MAC and I'm going to take my same brush I used to conceal my eyebrows with the flat 242 brush so now just using any blank eyeshadow or translucent powder whatever a neutral eyeshadow I'm going to just set my um the concealer with this e.l.f. concealer brush. Eyeshadow, I think I'm going to be using mostly shadows from the Morphe 35C palette and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Renaissance palette. I'm going to start with this like um, this neutral pink right here to apply that to the upper crease area like right up in here. And I know it's like you can't really see anything, it's like what's the point of adding that? But I feel like it just makes it for a better transition once you start to apply more eyeshadows. The first one I applied, applied it more in the upper crease, so this one I'm just gonna like, you know, go a little closer to the crease area. And you just wanna, I probably do like three or four layers of the eyeshadow just so it's more opaque and you can really see it but if that's like too vibrant for, me, for you then you don't have to do that and I'm just gonna go back and forth using windshield wiper motions uh, circular motions whatever works to just you know blend whatever works to just blend that product seamlessly Renaissance palette I'm gonna use love letter up here and blend that kind of like right on top of this pink shadow in but maybe just like a little lower. It's like light purple color right here. It's like at the top, just to make for a better transition. So it's not so harsh at the top. Lucky palette and use this in the outer crease. 
taking my Sigma concealer brush. It's um, a flat concealer brush. It's F75. I'm going to apply Tempera from the Anis the um, the Renaissance palette. And that's just like a white blank eyeshadow. Okay. Take this white eyeshadow from my Morphe palette. I end with Love Letter and my MAC 286 and like blend those two together. And I'm going to take that up into my crease as well just to blend that out so it's not harsh up there. So that's it for the eyes. I feel like that was pretty easy. And now um, I'm just going to be taking a makeup wipe and like just cleaning up any fallout that I did get and like wiping up the outer corners. Fill in the wing, I'm gonna take the NYC liner. So now for my lashes. Um, actually this company, Tokyo Lashes, they sent me uh, like all these different pair of lashes and I'm so excited about them. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some of the styles. This is, it's funny, this is actually like my favorite style. It's called Friday Night and they are mink lashes. As you can see, it's like really nice. They feel so soft. The packaging is really cute too. And it has the name of it on the back and as well as the website. And they were so nice enough to give me a coupon code. So if you use the code Jamie at checkout, then you will receive 20% off. So now I've let the glue dry for about 30 seconds. And now I'm just going to apply it. And um, I am going to make sure the end is secure first and then make sure the, the corners are secured. I'm going to be using two primers today. I'm going to use my um, my pore lace primer by Benefit in like the places where I tend it, like my pores are larger, which is mainly like my nose, like all in this area, sit into my skin. It's just mainly like my peak area and like around my forehead. And then I'm just, as always, going to color correct under my eyes with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. And now using the damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that in. For my foundation, I'm going to be using my MAC uh, Studio Fix in NW45, and I'm going to mix that with this um, Melanie Mills Hollywood Glam Glow Body Radiance in Bronze Gold. And I really like this just to give me a glow from within. This as well, just like the foundation. To conceal and highlight my face, I'm going to take my NARS Creamy Concealer in Caramel. And when I go under my eyes, I'm not going to put it directly under my eyes because if you have too much product under your eyes, then it can, that causes more creasing. So I'm just going to like blend like the remaining product like directly under there. But initially I'm not going to put no product like right up in there. And then just to carve out that thing, I always like to put it up to the sides of my nose just to make my nose appear smaller, which helps, you know, fill in your contour. 
things blended out with the beauty blender, but I'm not gonna use this high-back color carpet on. I'm gonna use the opposite it's side. Lately, I haven't really been baking just because like my skin's not oily, so I don't really need a lot of powder. I've just been using my uh, beauty blender and taking like a little bit of the Sasha Buttercup and then pressing it under my eyes until it's like all gone. And then to set my face everywhere else, I'm going to take my MAC 150 brush and my NW45 Studio Fix Powder. And with this, you can like... With this powder, you can um like use circular motions and it won't take your product. My MAC NW58 powder. So when I start like in the corner, I always start like um, in the middle of my ear, like this little spot right here. And then always start at the base, so then like, you know, the most product is back here, because then you can blend it forward. You hate to like go back, like start here, and then try to blend the product back. You know, you would rather to start at the back here and then blend it this way into the hollow of my cheek and going around to my forehead. Just because this product is dark, so I'm going to try to, you know, really use as much as possible. We'll use as least as possible around my whole face. To brighten up my under eye, um, I have this like contour kit, like little individual, this little individual pot and it's called Peaches and Cream. I'm not sure if it's from the medium contour kit or what, but using my beauty, so using my beauty blender, I'm gonna press it in here and then just put that directly under my eyes just to lighten up under my eyes a little more. It oh. makes like all three of them for blush. <laughs> and like blend that in with my contour. <laughs> And now to um, highlight, I'm going to be mixing um, Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop and some of the Anastasia ones. Just using whatever's remaining from the contour brush, I'm just going to go ahead and like lightly contour my nose. This just I'm gonna also highlight my cupid's bow. Now you have to understand. Let me just concentrate the black liner like in the outer part of my eye. Mix Wonder Pencil like right in there. In that same um, smudge brush, and then just kind of like pack it on top. I'm only gonna put mascara where the black is.